Welcome to the studio, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? It's redesigned. I'm loving the fresh look in here. I hope you like it. I'll step, I'll step aside so you can see the full view. Oh, uh, it's just fun to have a nice new space to share with all of you here on YouTube. Okay, let's dive in. Kipchoge versus Bekele, London Marathon 2020. It's official. What did I say? on January 8th. Question of the day, part one. Will Kipchoge battle uh, Bekele in London on April 26th, 2019, 2020? I think he will. I actually think Bekele versus Kipchoge will happen in London rather than at the Olympics. It might also happen at the Olympics in Tokyo, but I'm actually, my gut is telling me that. Sometimes you gotta trust your gut, right? My gut. My gut was just telling me, I think Bekele, so Kipchoge was kind of a, a given that he would race London. He ra He's raced London. I think he's going for his fifth straight win, or is it sixth? It might be six. It's at least five. Um, so it's a big deal that Kipchoge is going to be there, but it's an even bigger deal that Bekele is going to be there. Bekele is a little older. I think he's three years older. So, and also I should mention right from the top, Kipchoge from Kenya, Bekele from Ethiopia, and uh, okay, let's just dive into it. 201.39 is the current marathon world record set by Kipchoge in Berlin in 2018, right? And then one year later, 365 days later, who shows up? Bekele, the 36 or 37 year old at that point, at that time, what does he run? 201.41. Two seconds, two seconds slower. In separate races, same course, everybody thought, and for those that don't know, everyone, th so uh, Bekele from Ethiopia, he's been struggling a little bit with injuries over the past two to three years. And um, so because of these injuries, everyone thought he was kind of done. They thought he's, he's 37, 36, you're getting a little bit on the tail end of your running career. But sure enough, he shows up in Berlin and pulls out of the hat a 201. 41. It's amazing. So you probably heard the breaking news. I think it was yesterday, Thursday, that uh, Bekele declared officially he will be on the starting line for the 2020, April 26th, right? April 26th, 2020 at the London Marathon to duke it out with Kipchoge. Oh my goodness. This, everybody, is a big deal. And why is it a big deal? I'm going to run you through their PRs right now so you can just see how talented these runners are, uh, Kipchoge and Bekele, but how close they are in talent and in performance at all sorts of different distances, all the way from the 1500 meters on the track to the marathon, okay? So here we go, let's start with Kipchoge. 1500 meters, 333, woo, blazing fast. 5K, 1246, okay, blazing fast. 10K, 2649. Half marathon, 59.25, all right? Marathon, 201.39, okay? So that's Kipchoge from Kenya. Bekele, here we go. 3.32 for the 1500 meters. One second faster. 5K, whoa, 12.37. Nine seconds faster. 10K, 26.17, way faster. I mean, whoa, that is bla- and, and so, just so you know, uh, Bekele has the world record for the 5K and 10K, all right? Just so everybody knows. Half marathon for Bekele, one hour and nine seconds. And then for the marathon, 201.41. There they are on your screen, side by side, PRs for Kipchoge versus Bekele. Unbelievable. So fast, but there are also, if you really study those times, it shows you maybe a little bit of the strengths of each runner, okay? And yes. I'm gonna put it out there, all right? For the boxing fans out there, you know what I'm talking about. This is the Ali versus Frazier moment for long distance running. So if, for those that don't know, Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier, it was when they fought, it was called the fight of the century, of the last century. And now I'm just wondering, is this race in London, April 26, 2020, gonna go down as the race of the century or maybe the race of the decade, it could go down as a big, big deal. Who knows? Maybe a new world record will be set. I mean, now that they're both in the race, I'd have to, I'd have to put my, 
I'd have to say there's a very higher, there's a much higher likelihood that they might dip under that 201.39 and drop it even lower. Oh my goodness, it's about to go down. It's unbelievable. And uh, okay, I just want to me mention also uh, Kipchoge. When uh, Bekele and Kipchoge have raced against each other in the past at the marathon distance four times, Kipchoge has won every single time. Now, uh, Bekele has been battling injuries, so keep that in mind. So that's, that was the first breaking news in the running world this week. It was an exciting week. But the second breaking news connects to the title of the vlog, World Athletics, all right? That is the governing body that oversees um, long distance running. I'll just leave it at that. They're, they're part of the very intricate uh, governing bodies out there that oversee long distance running. Okay, so they announced that this week um, that there is, um, there is a decision, they're beginning to formulate a decision uh, around carbon fiber plates and how basically, okay, whether or not to ban certain shoes, okay, and specifically some of the Nike shoes. And specifically, some of the Nike shoes and potentially other shoes that have really, really tall stack heights with carbon fiber plates inside the midsole. So really tall stack heights. Now, I was getting a lot of messages, a lot of, and this connects to Kipchoge versus Bekele as well. One second. So I was getting a lot of messages and text messages this week about what do you think? Are they going to actually, is World Athletics actually going to ban the Nike Next Percent, the Vaporfly 4% flying it, the Nike Alpha Fly, okay, the next iteration of their carbon fiber plate shoe, which Kipchoge wore for his sub two hour marathon in Vienna. Not the world record, just the, uh, the Ineos 159 challenge. You all, I was there, I filmed it for all of you. So will they, will they ban that shoe? Okay, so I'm gonna give you my answer right now. I'm not afraid to talk about this stuff. Um, here's where I'm at. <clears throat> they moved, World Athletics moved way too slowly, way too slowly. And remember we talked about innovation yesterday. So the 4%, um, they should have. All right, all right. Here, <laughs> World Athletics, I'm sorry, but you sh they should have moved. And I know it's a big governing body with a lot of bureaucracy, but they should have been moving on this at least two years ago. But really, frankly, three years ago when Kipchoge tried to break two hours for the first time in Monza, Italy for the Breaking Two project with Nike. That's when they should have been really, they should have uh, formulated a team of 10 people and like go research this shoe and go figure out like what's going on here with his shoe and making it run uh, ha the shoe helping people run so much faster. So their two their world athletics is way too late in my opinion. Why? Because I think professional runners will be up in arms way too much and I don't think they can fight back against the professional runners and the and their agents. All right, and the big running shoe companies. I'm just gonna say it. But I will say this much. I think the, uh, the Nike Vaporfly 4% flying it, I think it's good to go. I think the Nike Next Percent is good to go, barely. I think the Hoka Carbon X is good to go, barely. So what do I mean by barely? I think the Nike Alpha Fly, the next iteration, I think the stack height is in fact too tall. Coupled with, yes, supposedly there's three carbon fiber plates in the Nike Alpha Fly, that's the speculation, and it's pretty much been confirmed at this point. So at the end of the day, will World Athletics ban the Nike Alpha Fly? And other, other shoes that will be coming out at some point with high, high stack heights coupled with carbon fiber plates, I actually think they might. I think there's gonna be a limit to the, to the, thickness, to the, yeah, the thickness of the midsoles. I think it's coming. I think um, if not, and I do think there should be some sort of limit um, again, I'm all about innovation. I love innovation. And at the end of the day, frankly, I don't want to be running on 65 millimeter stack heights. Like that's just asking for injury. And I think it'll mess up gait cycles way, way too much. So anyway, that's where I'm coming down on it. So here we go, bringing it back home to Kipchoge versus Bekele, London Marathon 2020. Here we go. We're not going to give our race predictions today. Not today. We're going to, we're going to ask this question of the day. What will... Bekele be racing in in London? What will Kipchoge be racing in in London? Like what shoes will they be wearing? And you got to think about the 
elite versions of some of these shoes like the Nike Next Percent. Maybe it's an elite version of the Alpha Fly. Maybe the Alpha Fly is banned by then. Maybe they maybe the Next Percent is banned by then. I don't know. And maybe the 4% is the only option. Maybe I just don't know. So give us your predictions and it's like by at the end of the day. Here here's at the end of the day, all I want is a fair race, an exciting race. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. That's what I want. I just want a good head-to-head -head battle uh, for the ages, for the ages. So I'm excited. I can't wait to work with all of you to figure out how can we build excitement and enthusiasm for this race outside of the running world. Kind of like Ali versus Frazier. All right. All right. So that's the question of the day. Okay. I'm off to a quick jog. I'll film a little bit of it uh, for you, just a little bit of it for you. And then we'll go announce to True Love that, uh, in fact, Bekele is racing Kipchoge. All right, let's go, everybody. Having a good time here in the kitchen, <laughs> hon. I, yeah. I called it. Ooh, what's that mean? My gut was right. What? Kipchoge <gasps> versus Bekele. What? He's doing it. He's doing it. I called it. Oh my god! I called it. Yes. Oh, London. London, 2020. Wow. So I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't register because I want to film the race. So I'm not racing the London Marathon. Signing off. We love you all. Uh, we're gonna toss it back to the London Marathon on the right and the uh from last year 2019 and then the ineos 159 challenge on the left all right everyone we love you see beauty work hard and love each other we'll see you tomorrow see you tomorrow